for those of you who are on Facebook, you may have seen posts asking you to take action on House Bill 610. Um, this was proposed by three different representatives. Uh, this week, one of them, um, the lead on it was Representative Steve King. This is a bill that uh, will put in place two different things. Uh, the school voucher system, and that will be for ages, everyone ages five through 17. For those of us who have special needs kids, it's going to gut because what it says is, and everybody says, well, I don't understand why you don't want choice. Don't you want, now listen, for me, sure, this, is, this would be better. This would be better for me. There, you're gonna let me take my child to a private school and instead of paying taxes to the school down the street, you're gonna give me money to take my kid to a private school? For me, that's great. But let's think about everybody for a second. Because I have the means and the ability to fill out the papers to get the money, first of all. I have the means and the ability to drive my kid to the school. I have a job that will let me you know, go at the time that I need to go. But what that means is the money that the federal government was putting into that area school, it's now at this other school. And so they just lost a teacher at that school with all those kids who don't have the means right. or the ability to fill out the paperwork. Yeah. I mean, it really is a get yours. And if somebody can't do it, eh, their, you know, their kid is left out. Too bad. Now, and you can say, well, that's not my problem, isn't it? Because that's a pipeline to prison. Where's that kid going to go? That kid's going to be on the playground with your kid and he's got no education. He's got a building falling down around him because he doesn't have the opportunities that your kid has. And then who are you going to yell at when that kid pulls out a gun and does something that you don't like? It's on all of us. Shannon, you're on fire today. I'm mad. I'm mad that we can't see this. When did we get so, I'm going to get mine? When did we get that way? And that's... And, and I know it sounds reasonable, folks. I know it's like, well, you know, I, I want to send my child to private school, uh, you know, but at what cost? Can you really say that you want to do that and leave a, a school gutted? Because all the, you know, all the upper middle class and middle class and high-end kids, yeah, they'll, they'll get a better education. I'm 100% sure of that. Yeah. But our crime rate is, you wait. It'll yeah. go through the roof. Yeah. We'll, we will leave so many children behind, and they are our children too. They are. And for our special needs kids, don't forget, if you have a kid, you know, my, thank heaven, my kid is doing so well, you know, that I don't have to lean into the IEP process as and much I as I have to. I do have to lean into the IEP process. And so, so you'll be offered the chance, Nancy, you want to send Wyatt to a private school? Great, take a risk. Roll the dice, gamble. You won't be able to come back and you won't be able to have any legal recourse if they don't follow the IEP. It's just too bad for you, Nancy. It's hard enough in the process when you do have re legal sure recourse. Is. How are you supposed to handle it if you don't have... Oh, Betsy DeVos. And, and here's the other great thing is that, oh, this is, this is so great, is that in this bill, what it does is it takes away all, all of Betsy DeVos's powers except that all she does anymore is looks at which schools are eligible for the voucher program because if you didn't make vouchers available to your school, you don't get any funding. So all she's going to do is sit and look at the applications that the schools put in and decide, yep, this school gets federal funding and this one doesn't and sends out the checks. And then in the very fine print it says, and we'll make sure that we only spend 1% of the budget on the administration of what it's going to cost us to dole these checks out. 1% of our budget? 1% of the budget to... That's money well spent? Excuse me. I want to go home and cry. Call your representatives and tell them what you need and what you're worried about and what you want.